more doctors smoke camels than any other cigarette. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Bavarians is for your man and you too. What you say? No boulder dash or baloney here. Cheers, everyone, and welcome to the Unfiltered Gentlemen. And now, breaking the seal all over the finer things of life, Greg, Scott, and Dan. That's right. Welcome in, everybody. It's us. It's we. It's them. It's the Unfiltered Gentlemen. I am Greg. Over there is the patient recorder, Scott. Recording it all. Uh Uh-huh. And uh, the most accurate of everybody, Ball Soup. It's a hot one. (laughs) Oh, my gosh. It is soupy and swampy and awful. Fire up a hot one. Yeah, that is for sure. And back by extremely popular demand is Allie Allie Bo Valley Banana Fana Fo Fally Allie. (laughs) Hey, hi guys. Thanks for having me. I can't believe I got through that entire thing without stuttering. I was wondering if (laughs) you were going to do it. Yeah, I I was too. (laughs) Yeah, thanks. Uh, The Graham has been blowing up. They want more Allie. And I said, fine, you can have her. Here she is. Wow. That's kind of cute. Cool. You're quite Thanks, guys. you're quite popular, yeah. So uh, really, asking you if apparently people <laughs> keep saying we like when Allie's on the show and wish those three right. fucks would talk less and she would talk more, that kind of stuff. Oh wow, that's so fun. Yeah. All right. For, keep sending in the request, guys. Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> Back keep by popular coming. demand. That's right. Keep them coming. Keep uh, gramming and at us and all that good stuff. Let us know. Uh, shout out to our top listening city of last week, which was Camarillo, California. Oh, very, wow. very local to the three gents. Thank you for listening, Camarillo. Don't forget, hashtag show us your beers when you're on the gram and all the socials. And don't forget to rate and subscribe on iTunes, Apple Podcasts, all that good stuff. We need the rates and the subscribes and however that nerdy stuff works so people can find our show. Uh, before we get too far in, I think we just need to uh, loop things right up, if you know what I mean. Grab your libations, pals. It's time for Beer of the Week. And if you're drinking well, you know that you're my friend. And I say, I think I'll have myself a beer. Having myself a beer indeed. This one comes from Elevation Brewing Company in Poncha Springs, Colorado. I am drinking their Milkshake Duck IPA. This is one that Scott should be drinking because it's 6.5%, has a 397 on untapped, and has no (laughs) (laughs) write-up. I'll take that one. For sure. Oh, that'd be the perfect Scott beer. Well played. That was very well played. uh, About a year or so ago, I had Elevation on the show because I went to Poncha Springs in Salida and brought some back. We smuggled some back with us. And during the Rona, they started shipping, so I got my hands on some of that. And this is their milkshake IPA. This is only the second milkshake I had or milkshake IPA that I'd ever tried when I first tried this one. This and Drecker were, were the first two. This is delicious. I really get some orange notes on the nose, and the flavor kind of follows that up with some uh, creamy, milky silkiness from the milkshake part of things, from the lactose, and finishes up with a little bitterness. Let me. Take one more sip over here. Yeah, it looks really uh, very orange juicy, very hazy, like very, very orangey. Yes, it's, it's juicy and orangey. It's got a little bit of that uh, creamsicle note to it because of the uh, the lactose. So I'm telling you, if you find Elevation, I, I deplore you to uh, put your hands on some and grab it. They are on Bev, B-E-V-V, Bev.com if you want to order some. They're shipping to a lot of states definitely california we got some out here so if you're ever in colorado look them up they are so good we cannot get enough of them and uh next time i'm out that way i can't wait to check out the brewery and maybe i can get those guys on the show because they're making some phenomenal beer so go check out elevation yes please why'd you have to smuggle why'd you have to smuggle the beer back (laughs) uh i don't know the wife just said look lube it up and put it in your butt we'll get it back (laughs) i said whatever husband of the year i guess yeah Wow. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, You know, we we, um, put it in our suitcases, like wrapped it up in some Ziploc bags, put it in our suitcases, padded the shit out of it, and then checked our bag. So. Oh, so it was. Okay. Okay. All right. I like the butthole story better, but whatever. 
We'll stick with that one. It was the okay. B-hole. It's harder yeah. to believe, but yeah, it is the funnier story. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a 24-pack. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can picture it when your wife and her friends are sitting around talking about how great their husbands are and bragging on their husbands, and your wife can say, well, my husband shows beer up his butt for me. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. I want to. And I wish I could see the the faces of your friends when you share the beer. <laughs> right. That's been smuggled. Yeah. In the bun How's hole. this one smell, guys? <laughs> <laughs> a little on the nose. It's a little nutty. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. It's a bit nutty. It's a bit nutty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember eating corn. <laughs> oh. No. Well, now we've taken this too far. Oh, is that and, the line? Uh, Wait, is that the line? I crossed the line. We <laughs> found it. We jumped right, yeah, right. over. I always yeah. fucking find it. the line. We I always it. find the line. Damn it. Oh, dear. Let's get into a little crotch talk. <laughs> That's why you're so Have popular. Have to share? It's <laughs> time for a crotch talk. That's why they like Allie. A uh, few <laughs> things to mention. A couple of businesses. Uh, last week, we had Mike Marr on the show from Buffalo Creek Brewing. So if you haven't heard that, check them out. They're out there uh, near Chicago in the Chicago land area, I guess is what people call it, in Illinois. And uh, they're making some nice German beers. Also, I wanted to mention we got some new masks up on the Unfiltered Gentleman shop. If you're looking for some masks, uh, not Halloween masks, but, you know, Rona masks, because it's going to be around for a while. We have uh, a drink local, a stay hydrated, and a will remove for beer. So go check those out. And there's a Labor Day sale going on, 25% off uh, through Tuesday. So if you download the pod in time through Tuesday, 25% off, use the code UNFILTERED on the masks and the new fanny pack. We got a fanny pack. And the wife's like, we need a fanny pack. I was like, are you going to wear it? She's like, no, but people like that stuff. <laughs> like, oh, wow. Okay. Fanny pack it is. Oh, so that's are, are they there. making a like, comeback? They are. It's it's weird. They're making a bit of a comeback. I have a request for uh, baby Bjorns for dogs. Mm. You yeah. going <laughs> to re- swaddle Lady your dog? I one of those. She, was, she had a dog in the front pack at the beach today. And I'm like, you know what? Unfiltered gentlemen need that. Yeah, that sounds like something we definitely need. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Put Marty the brew pup in there. Damn. There you go. He would. Doug would have to go in a backpack. That. He's too heavy for the front. Doug's a big fella. He is not <laughs> small. He would not fit in that. So no. Uh, anywho, lots to talk about. Um, haven't been around for a while. Went to the lake last weekend and uh, did some wakeboarding. Got really uh, hydrated. It was super hot out. We we were just drinking beers all day. We got there on Thursday night, so Friday we hit that like nice no one's up here wakeboarding water. Saturday we get out there's a shit show. It's like let's just open some beers, let's start drinking, and then uh, Sunday little little uh, wakeboard in the morning. Then we got the hell out of there, got out of town. If you go to the unfiltered gentleman Instagram page, you'll see uh, the wife and and the and ice cold beer from the booze league attempting to jump off the boat in a cannonball like fashion. One of them slipped and uh, <gasps> did not go. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, you see my hand because I'm trying to get a picture of the beer with them cannonballing in the background, and they slipped so hard that like the whole boat got pushed, and so I start to fall over. So you see my hand like come down, and then like the other hand comes down for the beer to like make sure the beer doesn't fall oh, over. Oh, oh. It was uh, it was a shit show. It's but pretty a rad. lot of fun. Yeah, I love it. It was good. It was Big Dick Nick's birthday, so uh, we we drank pretty hard for that. Dang. And then this weekend. We went over to their house for dirt. They have a pool. So uh, when it's ball soup outside, it is great to hang out at their house. They had a derby party for the Kentucky Derby. We were having uh, mint juleps and what's the other one? Oak blushes or something like that. And of course, like some finger sandwiches, all the stuff you would drugs? find at the derby. <laughs> 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 Only the best kind. Okay. A little, little booger sugar, a little nose candy there. Yeah, yeah. it was great. So, some Columbian um, Bam Bam. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> Only the purest. You mean Lucky Charms? Yeah. <laughs> I love you, Dan. Uh, <laughs> I got that reference. Had a boy. Had a boy. The uh, the commissioner refers him to himself in the third person from the booze league. Wiley was there mixing up cocktails. He's a little heavy handed. We all woke up a little worse for wear. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man. I think he roofied all of us. It was great though. Sunday morning we get in the pool. And uh, Nicole goes, we we should open some champagne. We should, you know, kind of even the keel. I was like, you're right. We need some we need some day drinking before we can start our day drinking. Wow. And sure as shit, that champagne right at our ship and back at it we were. Mm-hmm. And then the last thing I want to mention is, uh, I think Dan and Scott will especially feel this. Nothing says the Lakers are doing well like 
people coming out of nowhere to talk shit to you as a Lakers fan. Oh. <laughs> like I, I haven't heard anything in like a good six, seven years. You know? Minute. Yeah. All of a sudden now people are talking shit. So I got some Lakers uh face masks and oh, wow. we're, we're at PetSmart of all places. I've got my Lakers mask on and we're walking into the grooming department to drop off Marty the brew pup. He was a little dirty, needed a haircut. And some guy you can only have one person in at a time because of Rona. So some guy's coming out and he holds the door open for us. We start walking up, and this lady goes, oh, I was in line. And we're like, oh, we know, but they just paged us. We got here like 10 minutes ago. They just paged us. Oh, so then the guy looks at me and goes, hey, man, I'm just holding the door. I was like, then fucking stop. <laughs> and I took the door from him, and she, the lady said something again about being in line, and the wife goes, no, 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 they paged us. We were here already. I'm trying to explain, like, we're not just being assholes for the sake of being assholes. And he looks at me, and he goes, well, I'm on her side. Because I'm a Celtics fan and I don't like the Lakers. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. It's like, who fucking asked you? So I turned, I looked right at him, I pointed at him, I said, hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> oh. Did you really? I did. No. Like, fuck really? you, man. Oh, you know wow. what he did? He walked away like a little wiener. Really? Like he did a Celtic. nothing. Like a, ce- like a true Boston fan. Yeah, he, he probably got in a wheelchair. Did. And then yeah. you left in time before he came back with his gun. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. I'm just going to say that's a really hot story, and I hope Shannon took advantage of you in the bathroom immediately. <laughs> that is, that's fucking hot. Sorry. She was like, What did you just say? I was like, I yeah. told that guy to fuck you. Oh, yeah. It, did she love anything. it? She didn't love it at first. He did a Paul Pierce. He shit his pants and walked away, or ro- oh. rolled away in his wheelchair. Yeah. And Chomp. then came running back once he knew I was gone. Yeah. Once he cleaned his pants up and came yeah. back. <laughs> I was like, we, we were trying to tell the lady that they paged us, that it was our turn to go into the fucking grooming department. I didn't need your two cents. I didn't, I didn't need your, your asshole. I'm just holding the door for you. Yeah, no shit. Then stop. Walk away, asshole. Yeah. And then I really I'm didn't need like, fan. well, oh, I'm a, I'm a Celtics fan, so I'm on her side. Hey, so, fuck so, you. That is so dumb. Because oh, what, God. somebody drew a line in the sand or something? Oh, Allie, the not sports fan. There is absolutely a line in the sand. <laughs> fuck oh all God. you Boston fans. Fuck you. Ooh. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. This is not new. If you've been around since the 80s, you know. Fuck is you, that, Boston. Yeah. Wait, is that the is that the big rivalry? Yes. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, Dang. it's it's kind of a big deal. Does this go back yeah. to like Larry Bird days or what? Yeah, it goes back mm-hmm. further than that. Oh, yeah, even I kind of like Larry Bird. I don't know. Right? I mean, I guess right now is a bad time to say that I'm a Celtics fan, huh? You know, I don't know. It's kind of uh, <laughs> Good night, everybody. As like a person, your <laughs> you know, it, he didn't really see color, and I could see him as a player being white, being really good at basketball, getting that shit all the time. He probably learned really quickly not to judge a book by its cover. You know what I mean? So you knew he wasn't I, about growing up in Indiana, where it was like mm-hmm. the birthplace of the Klan. That's like really <laughs> amazing that he came out that way. But you know, if mm-hmm. there's anything to admire about the man. Yeah, I mean he was a great basketball player. That too. Yeah. So <laughs> there is that. But yeah, it's most of yeah. Boston fans I know aren't Boston fans for any given reason. Like it's not like, oh, I'm from Boston yeah. or anything. It's like, well, I like green. It's like, okay, well, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the ones I meet too all the time. I like green. I, yeah. Oh, I've gotten that. I've I have one hundred percent gotten that. Oh, why do you like Boston? Because I like green. <laughs> yeah. It's some or, and most of them are just Laker haters, but I think like a lot of that, a lot of them jumped that bandwagon and jumped onto the Clipper bandwagon now. So, I mean, yeah, they, they had a new bandwagon that yeah, wasn't total like shit a, to jump a, onto. Yeah, a local team for them to root for that, you know, hey, I hate the Lakers, so I'm a Clipper fan now. So. Right. And they don't suck anymore. Yeah. Finally. I was, like, I was just so annoyed. It's like, boy, did I not need your two cents yeah, at all. That's ridiculous. Thanks Especially for shutting like, the fuck up. Right now, everything's so fucked up everywhere in the world. Like, jeez yeah. Louise, come calm on. Calm down. Yeah, yeah, calm the fuck down, dude. Hold the door. Be nice. Don't give a shit about your team. Don't take <laughs> th- any of that shit too serious. Yeah. And we're not yeah. even playing Boston right now. I mean, for, you I don't have to worry about him. playing Boston. But <laughs> you know what? I know Instead I of flipping him, him off, you should have fucking coughed on him. <laughs> oh, there was no sign language. It was all verbal. <laughs> oh, fuck well, you, man. You yeah, should have so. pulled your mask down and coughed on him. I should have. <laughs> the wife was like, what was that all about? I was like, did you hear what he said? She's like, well, not really. I was like, he, he told me that he was on her side because he's a Boston fan. And I'm wearing a Lakers mask. <laughs> That's so juvenile, though. I'm on her right? side. Yeah, shut up. Yeah. At least say I'm on her side because she has a big rack or something. something yeah, reasonable. or because it's a chick or something. Right, exactly. Yeah. Her dog's cute. Bitch. Or 
Yeah. So <laughs> that was my weekend. What about oh, you guys? Man. How's shit going? Anybody got anything? Well, uh, yeah, my buddy came down from Milwaukee a couple weekends ago. And um, he was like, yeah, let's go. Let's go hang out. And I was like, yeah, let's let's hang out. So we hung out at uh, Bottle and Pint, which is over here in uh, yeah. in the Oxnard collection area. Local and, bottle shop. Yeah, that's right. And they got like uh, they got l- plenty of delicious beers on tap. Mm-hmm. I may have had a few, um, <laughs> maybe four or five or six or something. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it, you know, it was funny because we're drinking at, at his place first. Then we went to <laughs> Bottle and Pint. And then we came back and we're still drinking. Mind you, this was a school night, you know, on Thursday, nice. Thursday night. And so, uh, man, it was funny. I took some pictures too. I forgot to send them to you guys. It's hilarious. Cause I was like, I woke up like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> you know? And then my alarm's going off. It's like, dude, it's Friday. You have to work. So I just punched in and I, I told my boss, I was like, dude, I can't work today. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm having, I'm having issues over here, connection issues or whatever, whatever got me off the hook. So I didn't have to work because I was, oh, I woke God. up and I was stumbling. I stumbled right into the doorway, like, you know, like the, the door frame. I hit the door frame. I'm like, dude, I'm still fucking drunk. Like, dude, what the I, fuck? I love waking up drunk. Oh, for the record. I think oh. that's, the, that's like a buy one, get one free to me. That's true. You know, it, it does beat waking up hungover. So, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, you get hungover about noon. That's when it hits yeah. you and you're like <laughs> sideways. But yeah. I kind of love waking up drunk. Greg knows. I'm like, that. I think Dude. that shit's fun. Yeah. She's <laughs> the queen of waking up drunk. That's it for sure. Was rough. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But yeah Sorry, like, keep going. No, no, no. It's cool. Like the, the pictures too. I wanted to send them to you guys. But basically, it was just pictures of beer. I thought you guys, you know, I was like, you know, I want to. Tell you guys, you know, about my my drinking escapades over here. So, uh, what did I have? So, the first beer I had was, uh, let me see, it was a uh, Haze Twins uh, from Beer Zombies and Beer oh. Thug Life. Yeah, it's a oh. double. double. Oh. That's a hard one to come by. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! And, and, just and if, casually throwing that out you know, out there. No big you know, deal. Just throwing MBD. that out. MBD, it's bro. MBD. And yeah, then, MBD. If, and if you know you know me, I love the can art. This is got it's got the two guys on the front looking like twins, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Danny DeVito. Like mm-hmm. it looks just like the fucking thing. It's fucking hilarious. The next oh, yeah. uh, the next beer I had was a uh, Santan Brewing Company Juicy Jack Juicy Hazy IPA. Okay. Yeah, so I was like, all right, that that was pretty good too. Um and then the next one is unidentifiable. Uh Drunk Dan thought this was a great <laughs> picture and I can't make out what the fuck it is. So I, I don't know. I don't know what it was. And, and Drunk Dan's weird, too, because uh, it wasn't until about Sunday morning. I was reaching for a glass, and I found this one in here, and it's it says Hayes Twins. It's, oh. it's the glass. The yeah. Too? What the fuck? I got the glass, glass. Yeah, but I'm it was funny because... i at you right now. Yeah. Drunk Dan doesn't like to do dishes, I guess, because the shit was still dirty. It was like... <laughs> it still had, like, the beer residue sitting oh, in God. it. I go, what the fuck, dude? I just put it away. Like, oh, this is going to be good to drink later. Like... <laughs> Why didn't I put it in the it's fine. sink? Alcohol kills germs. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking though, but yeah, that that's what happened. That was my. You should uh, you should send over those pictures. I think they should go on the gram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. send them over. All three of them was this hilarious. Like a, like a good night kinda, of drinking. I kind of hope you reenacted the the cover of the twins or the Hayes twins or Hayes. Well, yeah, Hayes. I, I got a picture of it. So, I'll, so I. I met Edgar and his wife, Maria, at a beer fest. They are good, good people. So shout out to Beer Thug Life. They're they're oh, wow. awesome. Yeah, they're really, really yeah. good people. They He's doing collabs them. all over the place. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. but that one video specifically, oh, my gosh. I, I'm legit. I have envy right now, Dan. That's That's just... Plus twins. I don't know. I remember when that movie came out and Danny DeVito <laughs> and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, you know, you're Arnold Schwarzenegger, Dan. We all know that. So. Yeah, thank you. Right. <laughs> yeah, your accents and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Dan just yeah. sent over the pictures. These are, uh, these are great. <laughs> this is that third one, yeah. right? It's like, what the That's fuck awesome. is that, dude? Like, w- wish I could read it. I know. <laughs> drunk Dan could read it. He thought it was a great pick. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Terrible. Your drunk camera couldn't, though. <laughs> yeah. So oh, stupid. Oh, jeez. Good times. Yeah. yeah. Good times had by all. What about you guys, Scott, Allie? Anything going on over there? Oh man, I just yeah. My my husband turned forty the other day, so uh, we've been celebrating since Thursday. And nice. Yeah. Yep. Had a little bit of a. It was a an attempt at a surprise party on Saturday, but uh, cat got out of the bag. Whoops. Yeah. 
Worst part was it wasn't even uh, an accident. It wasn't even a slip of the tongue, but uh, whatever. So we had to. I had to work with that. My mother in law just told him. <laughs> oh, <laughs> straight up told him. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm like, oh, kitty. All right, fine. But um, <laughs> thanks for the help. Yeah, and um, so I picked up a job recently at a brewery. My first day of work, of course, was my husband's fortieth birthday, the day of his fortieth. So oh, wow. that's Perfect. rad. Yep. So, um, it's pretty cool though. I was able to kind of, uh, chirp in my mother-in-law and sister-in-law's ear and get the whole troops rallied up and come into the brewery. And so I was working, but they were there. At least I didn't feel like the total piece of shit wife for, uh, you know, ditching my husband on the, on his 40th. Just partial but, piece of shit. Just partial piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, so, sure. Yeah. So we started on Thursday celebrating him. We celebrated him. Uh, actually, no, I'm sorry. We started Wednesday. We had dinner for him Wednesday, birthday, shenanigans, all the way until um, about two hours ago. So <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's been fun. It's a celebration, bitches. It's a celebration, yeah. bitches. The The great news is, is that it's been like, you know, warm. But on Saturday, it was really cool that Valley Center decided to be 117. So that's fucking mm. rad. That's mm -hmm. perfect outdoor pottery weather you know <laughs> <laughs> nothing says awesome like stepping outside and just being mm -hmm. drenched mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we had a nice warm oven breeze go in it was a fucking <laughs> oh, catastrophe man. it was awesome <laughs> nice but, warm oven breeze yep yep every time you walked outside it felt like because it was breezy but it was oh, like cheesy. hot 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 so just worked out flames. well i'm wife of the year i'm wearing a crown right now because you know it was good. Everything was good. Glad to hear but, it. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks for letting me share. It was fun. Yeah. It was a good weekend. Sounds like an AA meeting. Thanks. For, all right. Thanks for the share. <laughs> yeah, right. Thanks for letting me yeah. share. Hi, yeah. I'm Allie. I'm an alcoholic wife. Only quitters go to AA meetings. That's so true. Yeah. Sorry for all you drunks out there. I yeah. got that fight in me. I'll yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's say you, that? Scott? Uh, not like one on the uh, wife and I took a road trip today. We... Mm. He said it hit up the solving. We're, the plan was to have breakfast. Oh, it turned into lunch because we went there on a holiday and they're doing all the social distancing mm -hmm. things. So it takes forever to get a table. But yeah, it's fun. It's a nice road trip. And I think I met the lady that was at the pet store that you were at. Oh. <laughs> as, we, as we were sitting down and uh, we had orders, so we're just waiting, just kind of looking around. And, uh, you know, they take the name and then when the table opens, they call your name. So it's this fat lady that thought she owned the country. She comes Tell up there, really gives feel. her name. <laughs> she announces her name and spells it for the lady. It was an easy name, so she didn't have to spell it. And the lady's like, you know, Karen. okay, well, yeah, it's going to take a while. We'll call your name, blah, blah, blah. And while she's standing there, she goes, well, a table just now opened up. And the lady just kind of ignores. She goes, as a matter of fact, there's another one just opened up over there. And they're really trying hard to ignore. She goes, there's tables opening up all over the place. I don't know why I'm just standing here. And it's like, lady, there's a list there. She's got to go down. It's just like, oh just God. go away because you're starting to annoy me. I, I think your your pet shop lady took a trip too. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone's taking day trips. The other thing that's kind of interesting, I guess it fits in this, it's a small world category kind of. Uh, listening to the show last week when you interviewed, uh, what was the name again? Mike Marr. Yeah, and uh, you guys were talking about the different flavors of beers. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had mentioned that he gets his flavors from a place in California. Right. Uh, my wife used to work there, Amoretti. Oh, really? Yeah, it's in Oxnard. Yeah, it's where he gets his flavors for all the seltzers. Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How funny. After the interview ended, we started talking. And he's like, oh, yeah, you know, I posted my wife out there. Like, I think he said on Catalina or something like that. <laughs> so small effing world. Sure is. All right, nicely done. Uh, we got a lot to get to for the rest of the show. Uh, we have a very special and sad segment coming up in just a second. You need to find out what Scott's drinking, a little bit of sports to talk about. Allie and Dan, of course, have some beers, and we'll finish things up with some booze news. Let's first find out what Scott is drinking over there. I am drinking... <laughs> <laughs> Barrel House IPA. Slow down. <laughs> I sorry, I had a minor stroke. I'm okay no, now. Not again. Yeah. Yeah, I get him every now and then. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 
So Barrel House IPA from Barrel House Brewing, 7.2%, 76 IBUs, has a 3.8 on Untapped and a 90 on Beer Advocate. They say, we built this delicious, unfiltered West Coast IPA around a unique blend of specialty hops delivering mouth-watering, juicy dankness. Put it in your mouth. You can thank us later. And the hops they used were Centennial, Simcoe, Citra, and Mosaic. They uh, stole my pickup line from high school. Put yeah. it in your mouth. You can thank me later. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's a good one. How is Barrel House IPA? Thank you, Barrel House. Yeah. I am thanking them later. Yeah, it's good oh. stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, it's it's a repeat. I've had it before, but yeah, I mean, I love it. I have been to Barrel House. They have a great space, and they have some good beer. But if you're ever in that area, they have a great little grassy area, and they often have like food trucks and concerts and all that stuff. It's just a very cool place to hang out, and, and they have some solid beers. Just I find that they get a little too experimental sometimes, and it's like, ooh, too far, too far. But anyways. Reel it in. Really? Yeah, reel it in, guys. So uh, I'll stop talking shit about those guys. Shots fired. Right, I know. Oh, there <laughs> goes there goes our hopes of getting them on the show. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I mean, man, that beer was delicious. Yeah, they're giving you a big fuck you right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. At least I'm not a Boston <laughs> fan. That's true. So, <laughs> all right. Cancel that box of free beer we're going to send to those guys. <laughs> Edit point. Edit point. Um, all right. So a couple weeks ago, after we finished the last show, we were all together. Allie made it known to me that she is very unhappy with... On the news. (laughs) It's so fucked up. I hate that shit. She's also not a huge fan of... Choke it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. And and so you guys are... Yeah, you guys are thinking like, Greg, that's so mean of you to keep playing it. On the news. And I said, yes. (laughs) Get it all out of your system. Well, I got to. I gave her the option. I said, Mm -hmm. I will, on the next show, we're all together, retire one of those drops for you. You choose. And she did, and so I hope everyone has their their black dresses on, because it's time to retire on the nose. Oh, on the nose. what a bummer! Uh, oh, that's bitch. too bad. <laughs> but we still have choke it down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Until on I say something nose. else really stupid, and then he can grab that, on and we can nose. replace it. But... <laughs> on the nose. <laughs> Take a moment this here for di- on the this nose. This is very disrespectful of myself to be disrespectful to myself. It's true. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like you kind of had a catchphrase thing going on here, man. Oh, like there was no. a very nobody. Li- no, Dan. No, stop. Nobody. Very likes unique it. way of saying on the nose. Like I no. almost want to say it that way, right? It, I did it sarcastically. That's the problem. It was supposed to be sarcasm. That's what and... happens. That's how I started with. That's right. I'm like that's right. I just said it real quick, and now it's a thing. No, but it's isn't true. that like a Charlie Murphy thing? No, I don't think That's so. Right. <laughs> no? The good news is we still have choke it down and. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm not mad at that one. I'm not mad we'll at that We'll just have one. to use those more often, I guess. Yeah. We will. We will. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> one last time. Fat rip. It's been, it's been good. On the news. <laughs> we will never forget you. I wish mm-hmm. you guys could see how excited I am right Can now. Can we still I say hate... it? <laughs> <laughs> you just can't I... say it like her. <laughs> yeah, I think it's acceptable to say it as long as I don't play it because I think oh, I'll get in trouble okay, at that okay, point. Okay. So you're uh, not in trouble, to... but I am really happy right now. I hated that shit. <laughs> on the news, we we'll have to read the fine print <laughs> wait, on R.I.P. Wait, wait, she's buried. You can't do it anymore. It's gone. Oh, I dug her up real quick. R.I.P. Oh, on the nose. R.I.P. All right, one uh, more. all right. Do it one more time. Okay, just for good measure. On the news, you'll yeah. be missed. Bye, bitch. I don't. I don't <laughs> miss that at all. You'll be missed. Uh, <laughs> old timey word of the week: peppered. Hmm? Peppered. Apparently, if you're peppered, it means you're infected with a venereal disease. Uh-oh. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Oh, so you don't want to be peppered. That is for certain. Oh man, what if you're salt and peppered? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it means you pushed it real good. Oh, oh yeah. No, uh, yeah. See, horrible joke. Uh, all right, let's talk a little <laughs> bit of sports here. And now, the sports, brought to you by cleaninguptheglass.com. Whether it's the Baltimore Chop or the one-two punch, it's time for sports. Well, now that Tom Brady's officially out of Boston, fuck Boston, the Patriots players (laughs) are starting to secretly, not so secretly, come out and say that they're glad that Tom Brady left. Apparently he had a bad attitude and he was bringing down the locker room. What the 
fuck? No, I, I mean, understand that. Yeah, the only thing being brought down were his hands from all those goddamn rings. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I, I don't understand. Like, how could you get tired? Like, maybe he was a pain, but if you kept winning, wasn't it like kind of the right attitude? Like, I don't I would understand think so. that. I don't understand yeah. it at all. And and as someone who's not a huge Tom Brady fan, like fuck Tom Brady, like I, I right, I have nothing in no skin in that game. But you guys did win like ninety eight Super Bowls with that guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, he was he was bringing the locker room down. Okay, all right, yeah. yeah. Good luck with Cam, guys. You only right. brought your yeah. income up, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, income up. Yeah. yeah, have fun with Cam. All those rings that Cam Newton has. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He choked in the Super Bowl. That's right. Um. Little basketball news: Patrick Beverly was fined twenty five thousand for verbally abusing the officials. Like all season, or just one time? <laughs> right. Well, this is not his first fine for that either. But uh, uh, I'm surprised they haven't upped the fine a little bit. Usually, you get fined like twenty five k the first time, and then the next time's more, and they keep bringing it up. Mm-hmm. But uh, he doesn't shut up out there. Apparently, it's ridiculous, man. Like all of them, especially all the Clipper fans or Clipper players, and uh, I have to, I have to think it's like a Doc Rivers strategy at this point, like because mm-hmm. the Celtics used to do it when he coached them too. Yeah, be and, a whiny uh, bitch. Yeah, yeah, and and I I think the idea is that the squeaky wheel gets the grease, and if they keep bitching and complaining long enough, every twelve times that they complain, one or two of those times it's gonna work. So I don't know if I was a ref, if you wouldn't shut the fuck up. I'd right. start not calling it for you mm-hmm. because you're yeah. bugging the hell out of me. That's true. Yeah. That's I'd be true. so sick of all the little Karen bitches. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, that's Karens why I don't there. like Doc Rivers because that's a typical Doc Rivers. He whines all the time. Every mm-hmm. time they lose a game, he gets on there in the press conference. It's the referee's fault. They made bad mm-hmm. calls. <laughs> and I can't stand him. Not a lot of news going on. Uh, oh, other than the NFL is. Uh, Pulling a uh, David Stern and they block some crazy trade with Clowney and and the Saints. Did you guys hear about this? Oh, I didn't no. hear about that. So they were working on a sign in trade because they don't have the cap space. The Saints don't. So the rumored team was the Browns because who's got more money than the Browns do? So they were going to do this like real creative sign in trade and they'd give them like a bunch of picks for it. And then the league stepped in and said, "Hey, you know what? Remember, we're ran by a bunch of old white fucks and we are boring. There is no way you can make this trade." Oh, wow. Stupid. Yeah. That's typical, interesting. Yeah, typical NFL. So I, I wonder if it was football reasons though, like the way the NBA did it, you know, it was basketball reasons, but I don't know. I have to I'd like to see what the the real qualifying reasons were that they didn't get that trade done. I'm sure we'll never know the real reasons behind it. Yeah. True. But so uh all right, let's find out uh let's go to the pen and find out what Allie's drinking over there. bullpen for beer beer indeed what you got over there all right i am drinking local tonight i have Mm. pineapple express it's from bear roots brewing company they're a microbrewery in vista california this was given to me by my girlfriend she's uh craft graphics dot beer on the gram she does Mm. the um canner for them which i think is really cool. cool Yeah, as you can see, because I'm holding it up and you guys can totally see my video. Yeah, yeah it looks like a map of the world. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, so she uh, hooked up the Pineapple Express. It's a New England hazy IPA, 7.8 ABV, 50 IBUs. Uh, according to Untap, it is a juicy IPA with melon and pineapple notes from massive editions of Vic's Secret. I'm going to go ahead and assume that's Victoria's Secret. Totally. And Watuka Dry Hops. And I'm not going to say it. <laughs> 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 Giving it a sniff. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how that's gonna how be a does new a new one, one across the... <laughs> that's yeah. a new one. <laughs> that's how I like them. Giving it a sniff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It might be even worse. <laughs> I think it might be. <laughs> it's a hundred. Greg, look me in the eye right now. Back. Don't you <laughs> fucking dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> no promises. <laughs> Damn. Shit. Give it a sniff. Um, it's great. It's great. It's just a nice little New England. It's it's not very I, I don't really pick up on any of the, the pineapple or the melon. Um pretty hoppy. Get on in there for a tasty poo. <laughs> glug 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 glug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's like, hold on, I just need like three more cans of this mm-hmm. before I can tell you about it. Yeah, wait, hold on, one more. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's good. It's great. I 
I'm a little over like the standard run of the mill hazies. Um, Mm -hmm. You can definitely Mm -hmm. tell the difference between it being a New England versus just a hazy. It's uh, a little bit more juicy and doesn't have that. um, What is? I don't even know what what is that on the haze that just is like that consistent taste. Do you know? I know what you're talking about. I, I I know what you mean, but I can't describe it either. I can't describe it, but I can tell you that if you blindfolded me and you gave me mm-hmm. four different hazies, they would all taste the same, but I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what it is about is it, the haze. Is it like the juiciness of it? Yes. Is it the, mm-hmm. the mouthfeel? To no. me, I think... Well, okay. I don't know. To me, I, the, I felt like it was maybe juicy and mouthfeel. But I don't know. What do you? What do you? What are you getting at, Allie? I think it's something to do with the hops, or maybe it's something that something that they do. I don't know. The good news is, is that Bear Roots didn't do that. This one tastes different. <laughs> it doesn't have that run of the mill hazy. But it's probably it's because of the New England. I think the New Englands make them a little bit juicier, right? Well, and the the true New England IPAs usually have like some yeast chunks floating in them. Where, like on the West Coast, we tend to drop those out a little bit. I I like West Coast versions of New England IPAs. They they tend to be just a little bit cleaner. Okay, yeah, you this know, one actually doesn't have any of the chunks, and I have to admit the chunks like they a little bit gross me out. Yeah, kind I don't of like pulp off. in my beer. Oh, okay. I don't like you know. I don't like. Bleh. Nope, I don't want any of that. That's right. funny because I was kind of like, I was feeling like, yeah, you know, if anyone's listening, like, what's Allie talking about? But I, I imagine it's kind of hard to describe when you're drinking something, like you said, that it, it isn't run of the mill hazy. So it's like, well, what the heck was is, is missing that it's not like those because you're drinking mm-hmm. a different one. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. And I, yeah, I don't know. There's something about the, the hazies that I just feel like they're just a dime a dozen. So it's true. I'm, it's true. I'm getting it. I'm, I'm getting that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm happy to report that this one is not it's not the case this time. This is different and I like it. It's good. It's a very good, good hazy and seven point eight, that's fun. That's a good nice little <laughs> ABV. <laughs> How how's the pineapple? Is it like super pineapple y or no. Oh, okay. I don't really take I, I can't really pick up on any of the fruits really, to be completely honest. Oh, okay. so it's not like pineapple added. It's just the yeah. flavor they were going for with the hops. Yeah. Yeah. I I don't have, um, I'm not picking up on any of the fruit. It just tastes oh. like a, I don't know, like a nice uh, New England. Nice. I haven't heard of those guys. I'll have to uh, have to keep an eye Bare out. Bare Roots. Yeah, I haven't been able to check out their location yet, but they're close. They're in Vista, and um, I need to go show them some love. Do it. All right. So, Pineapple Express. Speaking of Valley, let's move on to her favorite part of the show. This one's a classy dame with a great palate. It's Beer Babe of the Week. It is indeed. Her name is Nina. Nina. You can find her on the gram at hop till I drop. Hop till I drop. All one word. Hop till yeah. I drop. Uh, no spaces, dots, dashes, none of that stuff. Uh, this one, she's got quite the uh, lineup of beer. She's got a couple IPAs. A double dry hop pale looks delicious. Anyways, do yourselves a favor. Go follow Nina on the gram at hop till I drop. Allie, are we Allie approved? She's super cute. I'm looking oh, at good. a different picture. I wish I could show it to you. It's um, She's got a flight in front of her. Love Lane Brewery oh, yeah. Bar and Kitchen. She's like looking down at the flight. She's got this pretty smile. She's cute. <laughs> I approve. Big Glad fan. Glad to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Big fan. Big fan. Big Give fan. her a follow. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, all right, very nice. Let's uh, let's go over there and find out what it is that Dan's drinking. Yeah, so I'm drinking a uh, Firestone Walker Union Jack IPA, and uh, we've had this beer on the show. Um, but what makes this one special is this is fresh from my kegerator that I hooked up. All right, and uh, yeah, it's 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 open for business. I had it. Uh, set up and ready to go before my draft this past weekend so i had everybody over where it was a a covid friendly event you know we're all hanging out outside i had canopy set up in the backyard you know i think you know you and shannon have been over to my back here since like mm-hmm. gigantic like it goes right. out for acres and acres not really but it's it's pretty big <laughs> and um it, you yeah, have a big had, deck 
No, I don't have a deck out there, unfortunately. My neighbors do. <laughs> they have a they have a deck and a gazebo and everything out there. Is it a big deck? <laughs> I haven't looked at their deck. They won't let me see their deck. Is that is that what the answer you want? A funny answer like that? <laughs> you haven't checked out their wood yet. They keep their deck soup. all hi- hi- hidden away from me. They keep, <laughs> do they keep they it can, manicured? Yeah, they cover their deck with their hand when I pass by. So, <laughs> rude <laughs> so uh, so yeah i had canopies out there i had a, a big draft board that i had bought and hung it out there and you know it was the first time we did a draft with like you know draft board and stickers usually it was all mm. electronic and everything like that and uh had my friend over he uh he did some tacos for everybody in ceviche Ooh. and yeah we we're killing it man and like i said the kegerator was a big hit had that uh, Union Jack on tap. Everybody was loving it, and uh, yeah, it was it was a good time. Yeah, we had Union Jack back on 196 in mm-hmm. our uh, first tournament. It went up against Dogfish Head 60 Minute, so we've already talked about that. But I mean, what a classic! There's doesn't get a whole lot better if you're looking for like a classic West Coast IPA. Definitely, definitely. So yeah, that that's that's what's on tap right now, and nice. I can't wait to load up the next one, man. But I got really hydrated during the draft, dude. I. I I, someone kept moving my chair. I kept like, you know, I would get up and make a pick and someone would move the chair. I'm like, what the hell, dude? I can't, my butt can't find it, dude. It's <laughs> so, hilarious. Nerd question. And, and you may not know the answer. That's fine. Do you know what you've set your PSI to for your uh, CO2? Oh, yeah, that is a nerdy ass question. <laughs> but uh, I know nerdy what you're talking ass. about. Yeah. But it's, uh, I set it to 10. Okay. Yeah. But um, yeah, I was kind of floating around with that for a while. I think I had it at 12 to start with. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, well, let me bring it back down to eight. I was like, no, no, no. There's like a happy medium here. And I put it at 10. 10 seems to work. I think uh, I was, <laughs> I told my brother, because, you know, he's a bartender. I go, I think there's something wrong. Like it's it's foaming up real bad. And he just poured it, you know, he's like, no, it's perfect. It's like, so I just found out I don't know how to pour a beer from a kegerator. <laughs> That's my issue. So well, hey, let's I, say this, the, the first one you pour after like a day or a few hours or something, oh. that first one, because in like kegerator, like home kegerator, has that neck that goes up out of the fridge part itself. Right. It sits there and gets warm. So that first beer you pour after a while, will be foamier than the rest oh. of them if, if you're constantly pouring. Um, I have this con- constant battle with like the right PSI to get it not super foamy. This is so nerdy. And like Big Dick Nick was like, hey, what do you set yours at? And I was like, well, normally 9 or 10, but it's usually too foamy. So mm-hmm. I did some reading, and I cranked it up to like 13, 14. Oh, wow. And all of a sudden, my shit got less foamy. Interesting. It, Interesting. it doesn't make any sense when you think you know no. physics or whatever. It, but it, um, To me, I think it would be all head at that point. You know right. what I mean? So. I mean, beyond that first pour of the day, mm-hmm. you know, that first, I, I'll just give it a little hit. So that first pour of the day and I mm-hmm. dump it and then I pour and it is beautiful. It comes out faster than ever. Right. And the, the head on it is very manageable and where it should be. So. Okay. I feel like all of those should be those keywords that you have that the, the fucked up words that you have of me mm-hmm. comes out faster than normal. And uh-huh. <laughs> all, all, everything that you just said could be used in clips and sure. if you weren't the boss, <laughs> I would be using all of those clips to just make you shy, make you feel you know, shy. You <laughs> know, how Allie feels. She feels shy. I wel- yeah, Allie feels shy. I welcome you, Allie, to take those clips and play oh, them Oh, that's on the just show. a cha- that's a that's a nerd challenge because you know I don't know how the- I can't even fucking log in still without your help. <laughs> I. <laughs> I welcome you to take those clips and just send them to me, and I'll play them. Oh, that's so much work. Oh, but as man. long as I am the captain. <laughs> I'm the captain, bitches. Exactly. Yeah, I might do it for a keg. <laughs> if you, if you want to you send me a keg my way, Allie, I'll do it for you. She's yeah? working at a brewery, after <laughs> all. I, I, I am. That is true. Oh, I want to know this, Dan. Is this is this keg rater new to you? Did you just acquire a keg rater? Yeah, yeah. Not, not too long ago. Like I had it just kind of chilling oh. for a minute. But um, yes. in a minute, maybe a month or two or something like that. But I was just kind of, you know, getting my uh, backyard in, in order and everything. The screen room, I'm still trying to pimp it out and everything and have it ready yes. for football and stuff. But yeah, 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 I thought, you know, the draft, that's a perfect time to get it hooked up and yeah. let, let have some people enjoy it. So yeah, yeah. It's so perfect you're, you're like, welcome to the big time now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah that's the right. big show. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, that's a perfect debut at draft. Yeah, exactly. That's what Agreed. I was like, dude, like, mm-hmm. got, got to have it ready. And it's not like, you know, we, they brought a whole bunch of beer anyway. So I got a bunch of leftover, like in the cooler, 
Well, not really. Actually, we drank a lot of fucking beer, dude. But um, you know, I do have some bottles left over. A couple. Cool. So nice. We're ready to That's go. That's awesome. Look, yeah, you impressed everybody that came over, not knowing that Dan had a new kegerator. And they yeah. walk in like, "Oh, you got a kegerator yeah. with a Firestone on tap? Fuck exactly, yeah!" Exactly. That's exactly. like the ultimate adult flex, right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. Yeah. That is that, true. Dude. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's rad. That's exactly what it was, Allie. Damn. Yes. Yep. Nailed yep, it. Yep. Totally. Dan flexing during the draft. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap things up with a little booze news. Extra, extra, drink all about it. It's time for booze news. It is indeed. Stone Brewing has released their version of Black is Beautiful. Uh, look out for that. You can get it online. You can get it in stores. And a friendly reminder, keep tagging us in your Black is Beautiful gram post. And for every tag, uh, donate a dollar to Campaign Zero. Don't forget that. Uh, BrewDog has achieved carbon negative status. BrewDog Brewing has gone carbon negative by switching to wind power for its breweries and bars with plans to plant an entire forest's worth of trees. I don't know if there's a number. Uh, Yeah. When you say forest worth, is that like a hundred, a thousand? I don't know, but apparently an entire forest worth. Carbon negativity, that sounds bad, is achieved when a business or individual removes more carbon from the atmosphere than they put in. Uh, as well as when brew dogs breweries are also powered by leftover grain from the brewing process that is then turned into gas. The multinational craft beer brand is in the process of switching to electric vehicles for its delivery. So that's kind of cool. Nice little thing they're doing there. Damn. So they're like, yeah, they're really green over there, man. Wait, wait, wait. I How guess are they so. removing carbon? I don't understand. Mm-hmm. Well, they're, you know, they're not necessarily removing it with their, whatever they're doing at the brewery. Oh, but, they're you know, just they're not planting. contributing anymore. Well, yeah, they're, they're planting so many trees that it takes away so much of the carbon they produce, you know, that sort of thing. Oh, uh, okay. Science. Yes. They're not like sucking their carbon back in and, you know, throwing <laughs> it away or something. <laughs> oh I'm a visual learner. I need a little bit. I need a <laughs> diagram of this. Let me get my chalkboard out here. Yes. Yes, please. Yes. Uh, New Belgium Brewing accounts for five of the top 30, I put this in quote, craft brands now that they've sold out the fort collins colorado based craft brewery uh fat tire their fat tire ambrail voodoo ranger ipa rampant imperial ipa voodoo ranger imperial ipa and voodoo ranger liquid paradise ipa account for 74.2 percent of their dollar sales year to date and are also five of the top 30 craft beers uh for sale Combined, these beers have sold $127 million and the company's total $171 million uh, to date. Year to date through early August, New Belgium sales have increased 29.6% over the same period last year. So the Rona is treating New Belgium quite well this year. Wow. Hmm. Yes. It's uh, interesting to see. They sell out and they make more money. That doesn't always happen. Ballast Point sells out and uh, look what happened to them. Ew, fuck Ballast Point. (laughs) That is interesting, huh? Maybe people don't know. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Probably less people know where Ballast Point was like, they were kind of one of the first, at least, I think, mm-hmm. that remember that we reported on. And I think, yeah, New Belgium, like you said, it's kind of been under the radar. They did a fairly good job of keeping it under the rug. Mm. And to the point where someone recently said something about them, and I was like, oh, yeah, too bad they're not crafting. And we're like, wait, what? They're not? And I was like, yes, they are no longer. They sold yeah. out. So I, I think they've done a pretty good job of keeping it hidden. You say Ballast Point, my head hurts. I hate their fucking right. beers. I fucking hate their beers so much. Ugh. And that might be the problem, too, is I think uh, Ballast Point, uh, most people didn't, uh, yeah, they sucked anyways. We're like, I think uh, New Belgium, you know, we still, we're, we're fond of the beers. So it's going to be hard well, to kind of like, you know, turn I mean, our back fat on. tire. I mean, who yeah, hasn't yeah. had just an exactly. insane amount of fat tire in their lives? Got livers. some fond memories with them. Right. Yeah. In fact, Batch 50, we did a whole fat tire uh, review with the fans sending in their reviews. That's and, right. Yeah, that's, that's oh, a huge beer sad. for a lot of people. So mm-hmm. that is sad. And then I'll end it on this. Uh, Big Beer does some nice things every now and then. Molson Coors donates 200,000 cans of water, so any other beer, to the Red Cross for communities that were affected by Hurricane Laura. Uh, there you go. Yeah, and that's cool. But... um. What does anyone know what like the update was with Laura and everything? Like I, I remember watching it as it was happening and they were trying to say like it was gonna make Katrina look like a little sprit storm. And like I mean it's it came and went, right? I mean I, I don't I have guess. my you know head in the news all the time, but I haven't heard much about it. If I can be perfectly honest, 
I hadn't even heard of Hurricane Laura until I read this story. Is that right? <laughs> so. If I could sink your battleship, I didn't know about Hurricane Laura until one second ago. <laughs> oh. So we're in a similar sinking boat. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it must not have been such a big deal then because, um, yeah, they were making it sound like on the Weather Channel and everything. They had people out there, and this woman was almost like, damn, you're getting blown away. It was hilarious, man. I was just watching. (laughs) I was like, dude, this lady's going to be out in the sky like the Wicked Witch in a second. But, like, (laughs) you know, it didn't happen. Thankfully, it was like some glass broke behind her, and she made it inside the hotel where they were at. Yeah, it was some real-life drama on National Weather Service, you know, but, like, in the National Weather Channel. Dan says, thankfully, but realistically, he was really hoping for her to get blown away. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. I did uh, want to see her uh, in the air, just kind yeah. of still reporting in a, yeah. in, a, like, totally. in a cyclone, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody save Dorothy. Yeah. 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 But I don't There's know. no place like the studio. Skirt. There's no place like the studio. <laughs> yeah, but they were making it seem like they were doing like projections of like the houses and they were showing like who was going to be completely submerged in water and who was only going to be partially submerged. Oh, and I guess none of that happened. Apparently, I think it went down to a category two at some point. And oh. yeah, it wasn't that big of a deal, I guess. Yeah, I I read the story. I was like, oh, Hurricane Laura. Huh? <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. I, I guess I missed the devastation. I didn't know that was what a What a bitch. Little yeah. bitch. That's right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I saw pictures of him as all over with, and it's a typical, everybody's underwater, you know, houses are underwater and all that kind of stuff. But Dang. I don't, like, you know, I don't think it was near as bad as Katrina was. Right. I feel like we'd hear about it if it was. Yeah, you right. would, yeah. I mean, I think so. maybe there's something else in the news, because it happens when there's big news, and the, that's all they mm-hmm. talk about, and all of a sudden something else happens, and I was like... What happened to the other thing that was going on? And it's, they <laughs> Somebody didn't about wear a mask, already. and so yeah. apparently that triumphs every you know national. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what happened. True yeah. that. Yeah, Somebody some asshole in a Lakers mask. mask was walking into PetSmart, <laughs> 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 cutting in line. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I feel like Katrina. Dick. Aren't they still rebuilding from Katrina? I feel like. She oh, like, that area is still pretty devastated. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That bitch came in like a wrecking mm-hmm. ball. <laughs> to say the least, <laughs> put it mildly. I think they'd even rather listen to Miley at this point. <laughs> oh, hey, I like Miley. What? What? We don't I mean, uh, yay, Miley Cyrus. Let's uh, let's wrap oh, things up on. over here. Tell me you don't like lock- watching her swing around on a wrecking ball with uh, <laughs> a wife beater and no bra. Tell me, she looks kind of like a boy in that video. Cosign. Oh, she kind of looks like a boy in real life too. Well, Cosign. Not that I've met her in real life, but. Who are you co-signing yeah. with, me or Greg? Both of Uh-oh. you guys. Yeah. She looks like a boy. <laughs> I'm just saying it doesn't do it for me. <laughs> doesn't do it for me. Sorry. I like her. All right. Fair enough. All right. Good idea. Thank you all for joining. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Find us at theunfilteredgentleman.com and at the unfiltered gentleman on the socials, except for Twitter, at unfilteredgents. Don't forget, masks, if you're listening on Tuesday, use code unfiltered. You go to our website, click on store, and code unfiltered will get you 25% off our masks and our fanny pack. Don't forget that. <laughs> I like the fanny pack. I think that's I, really hey, bad. Well, we got one. We got to drink local fanny pack. Shannon I'm gonna, would be very happy that you I'm going to always right. forget that that's a thing. <laughs> I'm going to do my best. No. Yeah. So, Story of my uh, life. Right. <laughs> I already ordered a couple of masks. And a fanny pack? Uh, not a fanny pack. Oh, okay. Well, thanks well, for ordering masks. Where are you going to put your masks? <laughs> <laughs> now we got to get the fanny pack. pack. <laughs> you need to have that Amazon suggestion thing where like the most people that ordered yeah. this also ordered this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I should not call it a fanny pack. I should call it a mask holder. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Go. Rebrand it. Yep. Rebrand yep. it. Oh, man. It's all about You're marketing. Fucking mm-hmm. brilliant. Damn, it's that's all about uh, marketing. You know I what? Gotta the- I got to go add to cart right now. <laughs> <laughs> get your masks and your mask holder. Uh, I need I'm going to cancel holder. my order. I yeah. need a mask holder. You I got to cancel my order so I can get the discount. Oh, redo it. <laughs> uh, where was I? Oh, I <laughs> follow oh, yeah. Allie on the gram at Allie in Cali, A L L Y dot I N dot C A L L Y. I think I got it right that time. No, last time I think I did an Sorry, underscore. Sorry, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> you fuck it up half the time. It's fine. Yeah, well. Nobody really so calls anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. And uh, what else we got? Oh, 805 538 beer, 2337. Give us a call, a drunk text, or a voicemail, if you will. And I think that's finally everything. So nope. thank you all for I listening. Have one, oh. I have one special request. Oh, God. We need Flex. We need Flex to send in a, a drunk dial. Do it, Flex. Do you think that if we, like, like summon him that he'll do it? I hope so. Okay. Come on, Flex. Flex, Flex me a beer on the gram. Needs please. to send us a drunk dial at 805-538-BEER. Yes. Somebody tag him. Okay. Please. I'm not going to interrupt you anymore, I promise. 
Much appreciated. Uh, so thank you all for listening. Hope you're all staying very well hydrated. And on that note, good night, everybody. Good night.